Nuendo 13 comes with a complete MPEG H production pipeline to create, mix, and author highly immersive and personalized experiences for the new 3D audio format MPEG H. The MPEG H renderer plugin receives tracks and related metadata assigned in the ADM authoring panel. It allows you to create and configure metadata parameters, monitor your changes in real time, and to export your final mixes to a BWF ADM or MPEG H master file. Here you can define each component by choosing a content type, content language, assign switch groups, exclude a component from binauralization, like music for example, and set gain ranges for advanced user interactivity. Presets are the core elements of the MPEG H renderer plugin. They represent the different mixes that users can later choose from. Tracks that have been defined as either beds or objects in the ADM authoring panel show up in the MPEG H renderer as object components or channel based components. At least one preset needs to be defined. The maximum preset count per project is 8. The monitoring section of the renderer for MPEG-H offers a preview of your presets and interactivity settings and allows you to listen to your audio scene in different speaker layouts, including binaural rendering. In the Localization tab, you can create localized versions of all labels that will be visible to users. In the downmix section, you can set loudness specs for stereo and 5.1 downmixes. The dynamic gain section lets you choose a component source and a target for ducking. This only applies if both components are in the same group. In the loudness section, you can quickly generate a comprehensive overview on the loudness values for each component and preset with offline loudness measurement. In the export tab, you can set up several different output formats and export your final mix, including all passive and interactive metadata, to a MPEG H master file, short MPF, or MPEG H ADM file, as well as stereo and 5.1 downmixes if needed and a template of the current renderer settings. Sound is always on. You even perceive it. Man nimmt ihn sogar wahr, wenn man schläft. Ignoramos muchos sonidos inconscientemente, pero aún influye en Einflussen trotzdem unsere Stimmung und unser Verhalten. Listen to sound, but sometimes sound just takes over. Veces, el sonido simplemente se apodera de nuestros oídos. Wenn seine alltäglichen Umgebungsgeräusche aufnehmen, wird man schwer dabei. Vemos cosas muy distintas. Cosas Dinge entdecken, die man nicht wahrgenommen hat, als man da war. Eso me parece fascinante y It makes me curious about sound. A few settings need to be checked in order to flawlessly run MPEG H mixing and authoring projects. Open the studio setup window and check if the audio buffer size is set to either 512 or 1024 samples. Next, head over to the project setup window and set the sample rate to either 48 or 96 kHz. And select 3 layer from the 3D pan mode drop down menu. In addition to the renderer for Dolby Atmos and the external Dolby Atmos and OC renderers, you now can also select MPEG-H from the drop-down menu in the ADM authoring panel. The setup assistant now guides you through this process as well, if you like. This enables you to assign any tracks as object components or channel-based components, so they become available in the MPEG-H renderer plugin. As MPEG-H allows you to play sounds below the listener, the VST multipanner has been updated to support the new 3-layer 3D pan mode, which can be selected in the project setup. 
any parameter changes in automation will be sent to the MPEG-H renderer in real time. Changing the mode back to two layers will invalidate existing Z-range automation data. To prevent this, there's a function in the settings of the automation panel to correct and convert existing automation data before switching modes.